Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm Genie Cooter. And if you guys are new to my channel, I pretty much do Lico style questions and try to explain things in the most simplistic way possible. And today I have a very interesting problem for you guys called moving average from data stream, right? So let's read the problem statement. So it says, uh, given a stream of integers and a window size, calculate the moving average of all the integers in the sliding window, right? And it says, you know, we need to implement it. So we have this uh, moving thing, the constructor, right? Uh, we're gonna be given the size, right? And then we need to initialize the object with the size of the window, right? Window size, right? So we're gonna be passing in a size, right? And then we're gonna have like, you know, this size as one of the property of the class, right? This object. And um, we're gonna initialize it to it, right? And then now this function, right? This next function is gonna be receiving a stream of integers, right? And then we need to find a way to um, ha return the moving average of, you know, of the last size values of the stream, right? Pretty much we're going to be giving it a stream of numbers and we got to keep, you know, uh, once they call this function, right, they pass in a value, our job is to make sure that they have, you know, the average of, you know, of the numbers of that specific window, right? So the, win uh, the window of size three, right? A last right so uh, this example is given to us right so right now moving average gets instantiated and then of size 3 right and then the next function gets called multiple times with those parameters right you guys can see here this show you uh, a brief explanation of that right so you you're given one right boom right the window size is one right so now we're given 10 right and then we Every time though, we gotta make sure we calculate the the moving the 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 running average so far, right? So right now we're giving ten, and then we do one plus ten, right? And then divided by the number, the total number of elements, two, right? And then we're giving three here, right? And then we need to calculate the same thing, same process, pretty much. You know, you add all the numbers together, and then you divide it by the total number of elements, right? Now, once you've reached the capacity now. Uh, five, right? So you see, we need to kick out the oldest one, right? Because we want the three latest one, right? In this particular case, right? Let's say the size was five, right? Was four, then we would, you know, we would not kick anyone out. We would just add one plus ten plus three plus five plus the new number because we would still still be uh, at the capacity level, right? Which is what we need. So right now we're before we uh, add five because we're already at capacity here, right? We need to remove one, right? Because one is the oldest element. So we remove one from it, right? And then we do the same thing. We add all of them together and then we do three, right? So I'm gonna show you guys a quick uh, example real quick, right? Uh, more, it's better um, that way. So let me zoom in real quick. So let me paste that in. So yeah, so that's pretty much the, the input right here, right? So I'm just um, pasting it right here. So it makes more sense, right? So right now we're gonna be given this size, right? Size, size three, right? And then those are the numbers that are gonna be coming in. So I'm gonna run through the, the example real quick, right? And you see the average, this is how we're gonna calculate the average, right? The running sum, right? Divided by uh, the size of the queue. Uh, I, I'm just, I decided to use a queue because, you know, I, I wanna have access to the, L, the, to the oldest element, right? And uh, a good data structure for that, right? To add values to it and then to keep the, elements in the order to receive and be able to remove uh, efficiently remove the old element uh, the queue was the first thing that came to mind right so that, that's a very good data structure for that once you want to store the numbers in the order to receive always think of a queue so that's why I'm using queue here right so right now and now as I'm, I'm about to go through the example I think it'll be a lot more uh, even more clear why I'm using a queue right so now Size three, right? So right now, data stream, right? We're giving one, right? So we're giving one. Now, we're gonna check. Uh, is the queue size as it reached capacity yet, right? Capacity is three, so we're still under capacity, so we're good. So now, we now the sum variable gets updated to one, right? Because we, the sum variable is gonna keep track of the running sum, right? And then the sum is not one. Now the average is gonna be one now, at this particular time, right? Right, one, right, because the sum, which is one, right, divided by the Q size, which is size of one, right, the total number of elements, which is one, right, yeah, 
So now on the next iteration, now we're given 10, right? And then we're, and we're like, all right, cool. Uh, has 10 reached capacity yet? Uh, as that, no, no, I meant, has the queue reached capacity yet, right? Uh, nope, still on the capacity, so you can add 10 easy. Add 10, right? And then you add 10 to uh, 10 plus 1 is 11, right? Now the running sum is 11 now, right? So now, right, uh, we're set. So we're 11, right? So 11 plus, so we're gonna do it this way, right? 10, so it'll be one plus 10, right? Is equal, equals to 11, right? So now one plus 10 is 11, right? And we do 11 divided by the Q size, which is two, right? Gives gives you all uh, 5.5, right? Right? And then now the next iteration, we're, get, we're passing in three. We, act, we ask the Q, A, as the, uh, and then, we ask the Q, right, has it reached capacity yet? Nope, it has still not reached capacity yet, so we just add three to it, right? And then we do 11 plus three, right, is um, 14, right? 14, right? And then uh, 14 divided by the Q size, the Q size is three, right? So now we should get, be getting like four point something, 4.666, right? 4.667, right? Something like that, right? And then now the next iteration now, right? Before we add five, we're like, all right, cool. Uh, woo, have you reached capacity? Do you have do you have space to add five? No, we don't. Have, we have run out of space, right? So before we add five, we need to uh, get rid of the oldest element because we want the latest uh, average of the numbers that's given to us, right? So before we add five, we need to get rid of the, old, the oldest elements. And how do we do that? Uh, you see everything's in order, right? In this particular uh, queue. So we just, we're just we just gonna get rid of the first element. That's uh, the first element that's bit that's at the beginning, right? So we just get rid of that. Cool. Now I can have spa space at five, right? And then we add five, right? And then now uh, be, make sure, after we got rid of one, right? So we need to subtract one from it, right? So now uh, once you subtract one is 13, right? Now the 13, uh, Thirteen, right? Thirteen. Now we need to add the five, right? We subtracted the one because we got rid of the one, right? So that's why we subtract it from the running sum, right? Because we're not accounting for it anymore, so we need to subtract it, right? And then now, at this particular point, we're gonna add five to it, right? Because the the, the new thing, right? So now the running sum is gonna be eighteen now, and then we do the same thing. Eighteen divided by the Q size, which is three, gives us six, right? Yeah. So yeah, guys, uh, this is how um, pretty much the algorithm is gonna work. So let's go ahead and implement that real quick. So like I told you guys, we're gonna have this size variable. It's gonna, you know, uh, it's gonna be initialized with the size that's been given to us, right? So the size, right? So this that size is referring to this size, the the object size. So and it gets initialized with this size that's been, has been passed in, right? And then now, uh, we also need to have like this uh, running sum variable that I was referring to, guys. The running sum variable, right? That's gonna keep track of the sum. Uh, right? Of the running sum for us, right? That's good. So now we also need to have a queue, right? The queue that I was referring to, so we could remove this, the oldest element efficiently, right? Right, so now that we have that, um, and make sure you initialize space for it, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so once we have that now, uh, now the this is where I you know the the algorithm really, really you know gets interesting, right? So now, once we're passed past in a number, right? We need to first check has the um, as the Q size, right? The Q reached capacity yet, right? Yeah, as it reached capacity yet, right? If it has reached capacity, then we're simply just gonna have to uh, subtract that number, right? Which is at the beginning, right? So that's why we called Q that pole to get the number at the beginning of it, right? So now that we have that, now uh, the next thing to do is to add the new value, right? That's been passed in, right? to the running sum that we have, and also to add it to the queue, right? 
and then we need to return, like I said, the formula that I have, guys, which is the running sum, right? And we have divided by the cube that size, right? The size of the cube, right? So let's go ahead and test that out, see if we pass all the test cases. All right, nice. Uh, let's press all the test cases now. Perfect. Seems like we passed all the test cases. Uh, yeah, guys, uh, let me know in the uh, comment section if I did a pretty good job at explaining this question. Um, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe as well, you know, like, and um, yeah, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.